right, let's look at the Unit 2 test review, the first couple of parts. And these are going to be the quickest questions where you're answering limits and continuity questions based on a graph. Uh, number one, limit as x approaches negative 2. Um, notice there is no distinction for left or right, which means we have to look at both sides. And at negative 2, we have a vertical asymptote. One side's going up, other side's going down. They do not meet, therefore does not exist. Number two, negative two from the right. Now we're only looking at the right side. So on the right side, as I approach negative two, we are going down forever. And that means I would prefer you to answer with negative infinity. Um, technically does not exist is correct, but I do want you to specify with infinities where possible, and that is approaching negative infinity. Zero from the left, number three. Here is x equals zero, and the left side is going in towards that hole, which appears to be at a y-coordinate of one-half. Zero from the right. The right side of zero is going up towards that filled-in circle at y equals four, so we'll answer with four. F of zero means where am I specifically when x equals zero. We are not looking at the function as it approaches zero. It's where are you, and at zero we have a filled-in point at four. As x approaches one, as x approaches 1, we are right here, and that looks like it's 2. There is no filled in, like, obvious point there, but the function does go through the point 1, 2. 2 from the left, here's 2, the left side, the left side is approaching that hole, which looks to be at 1 half also. f of 2 means when x is equal to 2, where do you see your big bold point, or where do you see the graph? And at 2, there's actually an open circle there, and the point is not redefined anywhere. So that answer does not exist, is does not exist. Um, if there was another point, say, up here, like if they put another point up there, then you would answer that f of 2 is 2. But it's not there. 4 from the right, so here's 4. The right side of 4 is going up towards infinity. And f of 4 means where is the point when x equals 4? That is a vertical asymptote, but at 4 there is a point defined at 2. And so there are your first 10 questions. Uh, determine whether the function above is continuous. If it is, if it is discontinuous, then state whether it's jump, removable, or infinite. So at negative 3, so negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 is right here. And it looks like I'm blowing straight through negative 3, so that is a continuous function is continuous at that point. At negative 2, that is a vertical asymptote. So a vertical asymptote, which is known as an infinite discontinuity. At x equals 0, left and right sides approach finite numbers, but they are different. That creates a jump. Or you can just look at the graph and tell that we are jumping from 1 half up to 4. At 2, that is a hole in the graph, which is a removable discontinuity removable. And x equals 3. x equals 3. The function does go clear through that point. There is not a def huge defined bold point, but the function is continuous at 3. So there is, there are your first 15 questions, and those are probably going to be the easiest on the whole review.